Hey guys, good morning, it's Will, and today I'm gonna to be talking about stress management. So, um, stress management, guys, um, where do I start on this? I mean, this is a tough thing these days. Everybody's dealing with uh, you know, some sort of stress and, and with the way that uh, technology has spun things up, that there's a lot of things um, kind of tugging and pulling in our attention span. Meanwhile, we gotta to try to get work done and maintain social relationships and also maintain uh, relationships with the people that we're closest to, you know, and a lot of times the stress um, that we're dealing with is created by uh, any one of those things, um, you know, and for a lot of people it's usually a relationship based thing first, you know, um, especially some of the people that seem to voice um, their stress the most, it's because they're going through some turmoil at the time and things are very chaotic. So, you know, um, here's the thing with stress and in, 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 in how you handle it. Um, you can choose, everybody's gonna deal with stress, all right? Everybody's gonna deal with it in their lives. I mean, life is not supposed to be an easy thing, okay? Um, you know, pain, pain's going to be inevitable in your life. It's go, you're going to encounter pain in stressful times, and no matter what you're dealing with, whether it's a divorce or a custody battle or a uh, relationship breakup or you're not in the job you want, that's something that literally millions of people have had to deal with before so it's not a unique situation okay um, I know you feel like it is but it's all about how you decide to it's all about your mindset and how you decide to take this so are you going to be a victim or are you going to be a survivor okay um, are you going to you know let this run you down um, and you're going to focus on the things you can't control that someone else is doing to you someone else is trying to do to you or do you want to focus on the things you can control and use this as an opportunity for it to be part of your story, you know. Um, you know, and that's a, that's a big that's a big thing, guys. I mean, like you got to look at this like this is a you're writing you're writing your book right now, and everybody in their life is going is, is facing some major battles. Okay, um, I forget who said it, but you know the quote about like everybody in their life is fighting a great battle. Um, you know, and it's true. We're all dealing with some stress. It's all relevant. Some people have a very low tolerance for stress, and you know, um, their dog peeing on their rug might tip them over the edge and for other people it may be it may be like the closest person to you in the world dying that creates a le that level of stress to where it breaks you you know um, and I've been there and I've been at the lowest of lows myself and I can tell you that at the bottom there you only have two choices you can choose to be a victim and and su and submit to what's going on or you can choose to be a survivor um, and that's all about how what you do in your next step okay and, and how and the, and, the, and the practical advice I give you is to focus on what you can control, you know? And maybe that takes sitting down for a minute and writing out, you know, A, a and B, like a pros and cons list. These are things I can control and these are things I can't control and do anything about. And the things you can control, you know, now that you've identified those things, just let them go. You can't control what someone else is doing to you. So um, that's, that's how I'm gonna talk about this thing, at least from a stress management point of view. And it applies to, you know, whoever's putting that stress on you, you know what I mean? And that's, you can't do anything about that, okay? Um, stress is almost self-created. Like I said, it's, it's um, pain's inevitable. You're gonna encounter it, you know, somewhere in your life. Um, and it's just your choice to be a victim or a survivor, you know? And um, one of my favorite quotes, and I remember saying this from a very, very young age, I forget who, who told it to me, but uh, sunshine wouldn't be so special if it wasn't for rain. So you have to go through these times in order to appreciate the good times. And the good times will come back, you know? When, uh, when I dealt with my depression a couple years ago, um, I never thought I was going to get out of this, the negative spiraling thoughts. I never thought they were going to go anywhere because it was almost like they were automatic. Um, and uh, sure enough, I, I sit here with you guys today, you know, when someone asked me to do, you know, Chelsea, I think it was Chelsea Sloan, one of our members asked me to, to do a video on stress management, you know, able to dig in and, and look for the the positive advice I could share with you. And I couldn't have done that a couple of years ago. Um, so like things do turn around. Um, and now I can look at myself as a survivor. It's part of my story of what I've been through. I've been to the dark side and uh, I've experienced what that's like. You know, you guys got to do the same thing, okay? So um, that's my advice on stress management, guys, and how to handle it. It's all about mindset and how you approach it. Um, hopefully that advice helps you uh, get through it. And this does apply to your fitness because, you know, one of the, first, you know, one of the great places you can, a great practical outlet for your stress is your fitness you know what I mean like the physical body these days um, is not getting enough stimulus to let off those adrenal adrenal responses we're getting from stress and the stimulation it causes so what's going on is your body's storing it up 
and, it, and, it, and it's just like a little baby. It's gonna che choose to use its energy positively or negatively depending on the outlet that you give it. So you have to give yourself positive outlets to express that stress. And one of them is gonna be you know, your food and, and maybe diverting that energy into like making conscious decisions about your food and making better decisions. Another one's gonna be your fitness, I and mean, that's a primary one. You can physically let out that energy. And you'll find that your brain, I know for me when I'm very, very um, sensitive and I'm very, very, um, you know, critical of anything anybody around me is doing, my wife can attest to this, um, that after I go work out, or usually right there is a sign that I do need to work out, and I tell myself, I need to go get this energy out. When I go work out afterwards, all the feel-good molecules in our brain that send us positive signals come back, and now I'm much easier to, to talk to and get along with and, and work with, you know? So you gotta identify those things, that like you're also an animal, and that stress will build naturally inside of you if you don't have an outlet for it. Even if it's like minuscule stuff, that's why people get stressed out about minuscule stuff, is they're just not doing anything with their body, and that's why like they're so, they're so sensitive to stress. So um, take that advice, guys. Choose to do with it with you, what you will. It's it's going to be work. You know, it's always work. You know, the advice is is the simple part. The mindset is the simple part. Like the framework is the simple part. You guys have to put the rubber to the road and apply these things for them to happen. Okay. All right. Have a great day. It's Monday. Get to the gym. Uh, get a great workout in. Plan to be here again tomorrow or Wednesday. Get at least three days a weekend so you can feel awesome um, and feel productive and have and, and give yourself something you can control in your life to help divert that stress, okay? All right, have a great day, bye.